As we saw in an earlier lesson, when you first launch Microsoft Word, you automatically get given a new blank document unless you have specifically opened up an already existing document. Your new blank document is given the name document followed by a number. Each new document you create will be given a sequential number unless you actually close down your Microsoft Word application, in which case when you relaunch it, the next new document you create will be called again Document 1. If you want to create a new document from within Microsoft Word, you can choose File, New, or use the keyboard shortcut Control N. That is, you hold down the Control key on your keyboard and at the same time hit the letter N. Choosing File, New will open up this new dialog box here on the General tab. But as you can see, there are several other tabs you could use. If I click on the Letter and Faxes tab, this gives me a choice of all these types of templates and wizards. If I click on Memos, I've got this selection. Other documents give me this selection, or I could go for Office 97 template. And here I've got the whole lot or I could go for web page and we can choose template or type of web pages and same is for report tab. But I'm going to go back to general. I'm going to select blank document and I could either double click on this or I can click the OK button. But just before I click OK, notice here I can choose whether I'm creating a new document or a new template. Now in a later chapter, we will be looking at templates, how to create one and also how to use some of the ones that exist here. So for now, we are sticking here with the general tab. I've got a blank document selected, new document here, and I'm just going to click OK. And that creates another new blank document which is called document 2. I could of course make use of the toolbar button. This very first one here in the standard toolbar will create a new document for me and notice how this time I wasn't given the dialog box. It has just created a new blank document which was the same as if I have chosen File, New and made use of the general tab and this blank document icon just here. I click Cancel to go back to that new blank document and you can see at the top here it's called Document 3. So I now have three brand new documents created for me. If I want to hop backwards and forwards between my three documents, I can make use of the window menu. Click on that and you can see a list of all of your open documents. So I could choose document one, which looks no different to any of the others, but you can see its name here at the top. Or I could choose Windows document two. I can choose document from here, or alternatively, if I choose menu command, window, arrange all, all three of my documents are arranged. So I can see again at least part of each one. 